WVU School of Social Work presents Why I Get an MSW. I mean, yeah, we're here anyways. Okay, so, yeah. awesome, thank you. So my first question for y'all is why social work? So I feel like for me, I always knew that I wanted to help other people. I just wasn't really sure what that looked like. Because in high school, I knew a lot about psychology and I had psychology classes. And I always thought that you know, if I wanted to help people, psychology was the way to go. And it's certainly a very a valid pathway to that, but there's still always a piece I think missing for me in psychology. And during undergrad, one of my upperclassmen friends told me about social work and about the versatility that comes with social work, about some of the humanitarian elements that I didn't exactly see as much in psychology. And once I started talking to people from the social work program, it felt a lot more like home for me. So I guess ever since then, it's kind of just been it's been home, so I guess social work for me has just been doing something that I enjoy doing. So, yeah. What about no, you? I my I learned about social work when I was a senior, and so my undergrad wasn't in social work. But as soon as I learned about it, um, I was in sociology, and I knew I wanted to get more involved because the values are very much like humanitarian, social justice, integrity worth and dignity of a person like that was just something that I personally really valued so I wanted to continue my education um, in that realm so like the master's program just kind of aligned well with me yeah exactly I think social work does a lot about doing in the values that people care about into the work so, so my next question for y'all is what has your experience in the social work program been like for me I would say it was very exploratory um, I had a lot of interests coming into it, and I feel like I got to delve into all of those, like a little bit of clinical stuff, a little bit of research, and a little bit of policy, and I feel like I really kind of found my interests and my niche, and I can really follow that for my career, and I didn't really know this career like existed, but I can follow it and exactly what I want to do with my interests. So I really enjoyed that experience of getting to explore everything. And I think kind of bouncing off of that, I think my experience, if I had to recap it, it would be very reassuring, both one socially, but also professionally as well. So kind of what Chloe was touching on with, you know, social work is such a broad profession. And my interests are kind of all over the place. Like I'm a little like all over, um, you know, I like policy. I like working with individuals and I'm very passionate about first generation students, but I also am kind of interested in education. And then like, it's all over the place. And social work has it all. So being able to see that in the classroom, find the areas that I'm more interested in and learn more about it so I, I can be more confident has been reassuring. But also, you know, we have a small cohort and people that, you know, you're gonna meet people that become very close friends and people that you know you can rely on and that have the same ideologies as you. And I think going into a profession with those friends, even if they do, you know, travel to another state or wherever it may be, um, just having that in your background is going to be such a good thing going forward. Definitely. So my last and final question for y'all is, what are some benefits of getting your MSW? So two things that kind of come off the top of my head with an MSW and being able to have that background is one, the versatility that comes with an MSW degree. So, you know, again, we talked about how social work just in and of itself is a very broad profession, but sometimes some of those jobs are more kind of focused on people who have a BSW. But with an MSW, you can do those jobs and then also so much more. You know, if you do have an interest in organizational administration and higher up research policy, having that background in the MSW is gonna help you get those positions as well as things like being able to run a clinic if you want to do the therapeutic work or things like that. And I think the other 
factor for me about getting an MSW is in the program, we are constantly being challenged to other things, other people, other ideas, you know, other cultures. And I feel like just having that exposure and experience to understand where someone else is coming from helps you grow so much as a person. Um, so. Yeah. And in my undergrad, it was sociology. I, I learned a lot of like frameworks and theories, a lot of book stuff, but I didn't get to like practice out in the community like at all. Um, like I did a little bit of volunteering on my own, but like field placement wasn't a thing, but for the MSW, you get two field placements. And so that in and of itself is like so much experience, so much um, like real world experience networking. So you're really on the right foot for a career and actually knowing what to do in a real world position. If that was at all interesting to you and you are considering getting an MSW, first off, I encourage you to look at our website, WVU MSW program. There's a lot of detailed information, both about the application process and a lot more about what our program stands for. And then also please reach out to us at email via socialwork at mail.wvu.edu, which also will be at the end of the video. And then lastly, I also encourage you to attend one of our MSW information sessions. Super helpful overview of everything about the MSW program, including application process, funding, as well as the costs to attend given directly from someone by the admissions team. So yeah, hope to see you there.